which is an environmentally friendly way to produce, uh, to produce these uh, interesting bio uh, um, compounds. Um, okay, Naturstofftechnik is a small company located in the north of Germany and we have three production units distributed over um, several places in the north of Germany. Um, yeah, I will skip this because it's not interesting. Um, as Maria Carmen uh, said, we are um, a small company um, focused on um, uh, food ingredients um, and uh, we are very good in drying. Um, <coughs> sorry, food ingredients and agglomerate them and also spray granulate them. Um, <coughs> and um, further, we are uh, very well equipped for encapsulation of food ingredients, which is protecting them from environmental um, harm, mixing, milling, sieving. And we also do process development in the incubator in Bremerhaven, where um, Biozone is located as well. We are at the moment uh, seven um, employees uh, plus temporary staff. And yeah, I will skip this as well. Um, solid state fermentation is a very useful way for the production of microbial products uh, for food application, fuel, and food, uh, as well as industrial industrial chemicals and pharmaceutical products as well. Uh, this is only one way for the production. There's al also the method of submerged fermentation, as you know. I will present you a typical solid state fermentation process. Um, I will work on the um, case example koji production, which is rice as raw material. In Transbio we are um, um, working on the utilization of food residues, but um, in order to have uh, um, uh, uh, if you don't vote, not for um, reproducible raw, uh, raw material, we take koji rice. Uh, we first need to wash the raw material, then to soak it in water that it becomes a um, substrate for the microorganisms uh, we incubate incubate on them later. Uh, we also have to steam the rice in order to prepare the um, surface of the material for the inoculation, um, for example, with fungi or also um, yeast. Um, this is the example koji cultivation. Um, oops. Nein. Um, ah, good. Okay, there you can see the koji rice. Um, there you can see a bucket full of koji rice, but which is soaking in water. Then we put it into a steamer, and then we um, places, uh, place it on a um, tray, um, the raw material, and inoculate it. Um, and the cultivation takes place in a chamber um, where we can control the temperature. Okay, um, koji is a very old product. Um, in the literature, you find the procedure of koji making, um, which is 2,000 years old. Uh, it comes from Asia, and it's a typical handmade product. But for the production in Europe, handmade products are not very reproducible, and handmade products are also too expensive for industrial application. So we have to think about uh, doing it more economic. <coughs> In Asia, it's also done on these tray, ferment Ooh, tray fermentation um, incubators here. There are many kinds of uh, koji products on the market now. Um, koji drinks, I don't know the, um, the use uh, in terms of health. Uh, promoting uh, effects of this drink, but it sounds good, like koji drink. Um, but this uh, solid state fermentation is also used for the production of uh, miso soup and also soy sauce. 
and many other um, fermented product, products are available in Asia. But, um, well, fermented baby food uh, is probably, probably not available in Europe. Um, there are many, many different kinds of substrates which can be used for solid state fermentation, uh, as well as many kinds of uh, microorganisms. Um, these organisms produce um, different kinds of enzymes which have industrial value for food application and also as detergents for industrial application. Um, the list is very long. I will tell you about the koji, the rice substrate with Aspergillus oryzae as microorganism. Um, in small scale, we use um, this kind of incubator. Um, where we have, uh, well, an aeration system uh, which is possible to be upscaled. But here in this small kind of fermenter, you can, um, ferment, we, you can carry out a fermentation of um, one kilogram substrate, which is not a lot and not even industrial or technical scale. If you go bigger, uh, uh, this fermentation, <clears throat> is running for um, about 40 hours in total. Um, you have a temperature prof profile. Um, you ferment uh, at 40 degrees Celsius for about uh, 20 hours, and then you start cooling down the fermentation uh, product. And after 40 hours, you have a high yield of enzymes, and um, uh, it's time to uh, shut down the fermentation and uh, store or stabilize your product. Your product is the fermented rice with the enzymes on it, um, the Aspergillus oryzae with the enzymes on it. But the enzymes are the interesting compounds. Um, the chamber I showed you is um, incubated in a controlled um, temperature, is a controlled temperature room, and is um, and then water-saturated air is added from the top because the fungus um, needs um, uh, this um, humid um, um, uh, air for growing. Uh, the tray has to fit in the reactor and the conditioned air is forced um, in the tower from left to right. Um, the temperature is uh, controlled and the flow meter is measuring the um, air which is directed into the, um, into the reactor. You also measure oxygen and the relative humidity. <clears throat> there are several um, advantages of this um, solid state fermentation comp uh, compared to submerged fermentation in general. You have um, lower production costs because you save water and energy compared to the submerged fermentation, and you don't have a waste problem, really, because the, the entire product can be used for different kinds of applications. Um, and um, the product stability is supposed to be significant, significantly higher than in submerged fermentation. Um, people say that it's um, due to the lower dilution of the medium. Um, various applications are possible in food, feed, pharmaceuticals, and also for industrial detergents. Uh, in submerged fermentation, um, you carry out a um, holistic uti utilization of the product, uh, which means increased sustainability, which is the focus of the Transbio project. Uh, project. Well, yeah, this um, process is, can be easily scaled up to industrial scale. Now we are not talking about one kilogram raw material, we are talking about 600 kilogram of koji rice. Uh, it looks different in industrial scale. The washing and soaking of the rice grains take place anyway. And the steaming is done in a large container uh, it's cool, it is cooled down on a belt and uh, the inoculation takes place as well. Um, and this is a picture from inside the reactor. Um, we have a stirrer inside on the spinning plate. 
you see the rice grain, it looks un not sharp, the picture, but you see the steam inside the reactor. Um, the stirrer is uh, mixing the substrate and the sensor is measuring the temperature and also um, the oxygen. Um, the temperature can be controlled by the air cooling unit and the reactor can be heated in a double jacket. And you can see that this uh, large scale fermentation can be controlled. Um, there's the uh, control panel as well on this picture. Um, this is an impression how large this reactor looks like. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a person. This would, a person would be that high until this point. So it's almost like a house, this reactor. We have a double fermenter in Naturstofftechnik. Um, where we can um, carry out a semi-continuous fermentation. We carry out a fermentation in one reactor while we clean and prepare the other one on top. And as soon as the fermentation is uh, stopped downstairs here, we can start um, the next round and um, treat uh, the ferment obtained from the first fermentation. So the fermenter is always running. Yeah, let's have a look at the yields which are possible. Um, I'm talking about the, the enzyme containing rice, which is the product. Um, the yield is in lab scale. Um, I wrote 50 kilogram. We have a very big um, chamber as well, which is not the fermenter. Uh, there we have a yield of about 109% um, um, initial raw material because of the fungi growing on, side, uh, on top of the rice. Um, and compared to technical scale, it's lower. The technical scale, which has the control unit, um, improves the fermentation pro uh, process, obviously. And even the enzyme activity is much higher in technical scale um, because uh, the temperature during fermentation is... Uh, the most important um, factor for this uh, fermentation. Uh, it's very fa the f um, temperature sensitive um, koji is, if it's getting too hot, um, the um, koji is not producing enzymes anymore and sometimes um, the fungi stop growing. And it uh, happens very quickly that the um, temperature in lab scale is too high, becomes too high. Um, yeah. You have three minutes. Okay. I think this is my. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank Any you. questions? <laughs>